If someone was crazy enough to think of building a baseball diamond in the cornfields of Iowa, why not a golf course, a natural, tranquil golf course for purists in the sand hills of Nebraska? That idea has become reality, as Roger Welch tells us now in this postcard from the heartland. It's really a spiritual experience when you come out here to visit. Uh, and I think that's what people go away with when they leave here. Nebraska's sand hills are one of my favorite places in this world. I don't know how many times friends of mine have looked at this landscape and said, you know, it looks something like a golf course. Well, now someone has taken that idea literally. And here in the middle of absolutely nowhere, 12 miles south of Mullen, Nebraska, there is a world-class golf course. This is cattle country. And when we think of sports out here, it's usually along the line of rodeoing. A Nebraska architect had a dream along another line of thinking, a golf course, where if you close your eyes and open them again, you would think for all the world, you're on the links of Scotland. There's no highway sounds, there's no horns honking, there's no airplanes, this is just dead quiet, aside from wind and, and meadow larks, that's about it. It's very peaceful, and um, when it's exquisite out here, there's no place on the face of the earth that may, that's better. Dick Young's cap is the managing partner of the Sand Hills Golf Club, and the man who had that dream. Didn't anybody tell you that you're not gonna get people to come out to play golf in the middle of the Sand Hills? Oh yeah, most everybody did. <laughs> But it, it really, it, uh, it's the type of thing that the, the people that we appeal to, I, I suppose you would describe as a purist golfer, and, and they'll find a place like this. Five years ago, Young's Cap picked Jim Kidd to be his golf professional. Kidd's grandfather was a Scotsman and a former golf pro, as is his father. Uh, it's, it's, uh, if you're a golfer at all, it's, it's like going to uh, Scotland or Ireland. Kid is a purist, a man who thinks of golf as more than a game, more than a manicured suburban lawn. Yeah, the grass, the dunes, uh, every, everything about it up here, the wind, it's, it's, it's just like going back, back in time out here. There's, there's nobody out here. You can look for miles, you can look for 20 miles on some of these tee boxes and not see it anything, a light, light or a house or anything, it's, it's fabulous. In fact, the abundant wildlife of the Sand Hills has scarcely noticed the minor changes in the land that is still theirs. The course is so subtle, if it weren't for the flag sticks, you wouldn't know it's here. But otherwise, they uh, just tilled up the soil and planted seed and, and what you have is what you get. Jim Kidd and his faithful sidekick, Gus, are familiar figures on these tees and fairways. Kidd likes to walk the course, especially when he can find a willing caddy. Walking, uh, the experience is much quieter. It's, uh, it's much more serene, and, and that's the way golf should be played. Uh, we as Americans have gotten a little bit lazy and want to jump into the carts and get around as fast as we can. It's not a track race out here. Most golf courses are bulldozed and built. This one follows the natural contours and biology of the sand hills. If you need a bigger sand trap, you enlarge the one nature already gave you. If you need a rake after you've been in a bunker, don't bother to look for one. The wind will quickly take care of the footprints. Uh, mo most of these bunkers were, uh, were here originally. Some of the ones like this one here, they had to do a little bit of scraping, just the surface, and then they let the the wind do the erosion itself. They're not big on ceremony here. No ball washers on the tees. No one hole is rated harder than the other. I guess they must be doing something right. A major golf magazine has rated them one of the top 50 courses in the world. The Sand Hills Golf Club was, after all, designed by Ben Crenshaw, a golf pro known to many, including some of us who don't even follow the game. It really isn't anything new. It just hasn't been done in 80 years. You know, back before they had all of the uh, big earth movers and scrapers and everything, they had to find natural ground. Even to a non-golfer like me, a day spent walking the contours of this unique landscape with Jim, Kidd, and Gus is an experience that is not soon forgotten. 
Has there been any talk about changing the name of Mullen to Mulligan? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a thought. Yeah. <laughs> In some places, golf has become a triumph of technology and obsession over relaxation and, well, fun. Not here. Here at the end of the day, your score may not be nearly as important as your memories. Your memories of the sand hills.